In this video we are going to see the virtual load method or unit load method. So generally the assumptions of unit load methods are first external and internal force are in equilibrium support and rigid on mo moment is possible material is strained within the elastic limit so for finding the deflection deflection is equal to limit 0 to L capital M small m upon EI where this capital M which is the moment due to external loading and this small n is known as moment due to unit load this is for deflection and for degree or you can say slope equation will be same we will see the cases th three major three types of cases first let we see the cantilever beam with a point load at its free end at a distance of l we want to find a deflection at a distance of x and have another figure this figure indicates moment due to external load and this figure indicates moment due to unit load. Apply a unit load in the place of W, place 1 at a distance of X. So, deflection is equals to limit 0 to L capital M small m upon EI into DX sorry here into DX so here limit 0 to L capital moment at distance of X W into X capital moment therefore W into X negative because it is clockwise so therefore negative W into X small small m this is small m and this is capital m small m 1 into x therefore minus x upon ei into dx so let's put the limit so after putting limit you will get W L cube upon 3 E I which is the deflection for cantilever beam supported cantilever beam having a point load at its free end. Now theta for theta we have to consider let us consider these two figures which have been drawn for capital W external moment and for point load of one unit so here we have to consider a moment for apply we have to apply a um, one unit moment at the free end or we have to replace or in the other terms the actual load is to be replaced by a unit moment at a distance of x at a distance of x so for here limit will be 0 to l similarly w into x minus w into x minus w into x here moment of 1 moment of 1 therefore minus 1 anti-clockwise upon E I so apply the apply the 
limits so you will get w l square upon e i this is the theta for cantilever beam subjected to u point load at its free end now we will see the another case in which the cantilever beam is supported cantilever beam is applied with udl of 30 kN so let us consider a cantilever beam with an udl of 30 kN per meter at a distance of 3 meter from a point c and 1 meter for point bc okay so we have to calculate the slope and deflection both at point c so we have to consider a point load at a point c because we have to find deflection at c and delta at c deflection and slope sorry both we have to find so for this we have to make a table segment origin length capital m and small m which is for first we will calculate deflection therefore small m for deflection and another it will be small m for theta okay so segment segment means parts we i have considered part b c for therefore segment b c and c a c to a therefore c a now origin origin means from where i will consider the beam i mean from where the distance will be calculated or or the starting point of the calculation therefore origin means i for c to b which origin will be easier to calculate the sum if i consider b then it will be easier me to calculate therefore origin i have cal for c to b i have considered b origin and for c to a c to a i i can consider a but for more understanding i have i will choose b as a origin or length what is the length so b to c b to c has a length of 1 meter therefore length 1 meter ca ca has a length of 3 meter therefore 3 meter now capital m now capital m therefore capital m at a distance of this so for b to c b to c here b to c and i am having an origin at b origin at b therefore distance i will consider distance from my origin let's consider the distance as x so 30 into x into x therefore minus 30 x square by 2 okay 30 x square by 2 similarly for ca ca capital m this is capital m and this is small m so for ca c to a here will be my c to a at here and origin is b so i will consider this distance as x and it will be minus 30 x square by 2 now it's turn for small m small m for a point a c b first point b c b c here at a distance of x as a origin my b but there is no no any load or moment therefore 0 into x therefore 0 now 
for second i have taken c2a c2a origin is b origin is b therefore distance will be x therefore 1 into x minus 1 distance 1 meter distance therefore minus 1 into distance x but i have i want this much distance so x minus backward distance minus 1 so now what we have to do put the value in theta uh, deflection equation 0 to l capital m small m upon ei into dx therefore for there will be two cases for bc and ba so 0 to 1 0 to 1 because its length is 0 to 1 0 to 1 capital m minus 30 x square upon 2 into small 0 upon ei ei into dx plus for ca for ca it will be 1 to 4 origin will be 1 to 1 plus 3 4 1 to 1 plus 3 4 minus 30 x square by 2 upon ei into small m minus 1 x minus 1 is as you will calculate this the deflection will be 6.41 mm at point c now we will see now we will see a uh, theta at c for theta we will consider a moment at point c for theta at c we will consider unit moment at point c so 0 to l mx upon ei into dx so moment moment at small moment at c to b c to b there is there will be no moment therefore 0 therefore 0 and for c to a c to a there will be a moment of 1 but it's in a direction of downward therefore minus 1 okay so as you will calculate you will get the answer of 3.15 into 10 raised to negative 3 in a radian and 0 0.18 in a degree yes in next video i will show show you for the simply supported beam with a point load and a portal frame subjected to a point load and UDL. So I will clear more doubts in my next video with simply supported beam M frame. Thank you.